Witcher, Witcher, Witcher. Yeah, we here. Shout out to them Cowboys. Um, we gonna pop it off right. Shout out to them boys with that dub this weekend. So we starting off right. Shout out to them boys. Yeah. Cowboys fans, if you in the comments, put the star emoji on her. She had, she had to make sure she highlighted the one win she got over the last week. <laughs> wow. Hey, we starting early. I'm sorry. You asked me to be here. It's not my fault. We we Grand Slam uh Ali Lee Kicks edition. Grand Slam. <sighs> AKA the Danielson pre show. The Danielson pre party. Oh my God. Wait, Two days. Not... Hey Ken. No, we whatever. Arthur Ash, he about to take that title. We'll talk. No, I'm sorry. I don't want. I'm not gonna run your show. We could talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll get to it at some point, right? My bad. Yeah, yeah. Welcome to All Elite with Keeks. I'm still grieving. Um, Nola Champion Part Two. So I'm still upset. So I'm taking out on Cal today. Um, <laughs> don't hate the play. I hate the game. It ain't my fault. I'm sorry. I'm taking it out on cow today, y'all. I'm still grieving. I didn't get my little champion part two. No little bit of the bubbly, nothing. So I'm upset. Hey, yeah. Drip. Oh, God, this guy. That man. Shouts to Drip, white noise. <laughs> yes, make sure you too much white noise. He recovering right now, laid up on the I couch know. doing nothing. Drip, I will take care of you, okay? Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to, go, have to go back to the hospital. Shit. Um, how you doing, Keeks? I'm doing pretty good. I am feeling I got me some daiquiri. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better. It was a wild day today, but I'm all right. It was a wild day today, wasn't it? It was wild today. The wild Monday. I don't... It's something in And micro braids. Um, they said mercury still in the microwave. That's what I heard. Yeah, it's still in the uh, yeah, it's still in the oven. Um, Jesus, this is the week of Grand Slam. Um, Arthur Ashe to all Damn. my New Yorkers. Danielson, y'all are I lucky again. I don't know why he keep you know y'all don't deserve it. It should have been in Dallas, but uh, I let I keep it cute. I should I should I should be there. I won't be, Not but going. I should be there. I, I don't. I, it it wasn't in the cards. I didn't even think about it until just now. <laughs> Man, I should be you there. Stop, right. See your Danielson. I'm gonna be home. The thing is, because I think they're in Jersey in November. Yeah, they're going to Jersey. Yeah, y'all got that uh, pay per view. They got. They got. It's it's full gear in Jersey, yeah. right? Which should have been in Dallas, and I'm still mad about that. Every show should have been in Dallas. If, yes. if if Danielson, well, when Danielson still has the title going into full gear, I got to see about going out there. That's if MJF don't take it. But <clears throat> uh, yeah, no, yeah. Drip, Drip tried to warn me earlier. We, I, we yeah. we'll talk. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. We gonna we gonna get into it. Uh, Dynamite review. Uh, because Grand Slam is this week. Yeah. Uh, what happened last week? Uh, it popped out with the uh, Grand Slam tournament semifinal, uh, Moxley versus Sammy. Um, you know, Moxley put him in the dirt. You already uh, knew though, right? Yeah, I put him in the dirt when they when they booked that match. When they booked that, uh, Moxley and Jericho was going to be in that semifinal. I said, oh, Moxley got that one. I didn't know about your boy. And then when I saw who, never mind. We'll talk about that. <laughs> you ain't know about my boy. <laughs> I know. I, you, you, I mean, hey, there's no way he was going to get another win on either Danielson or Adam Page. If Adam Page made it, I don't know. I feel like Page would have made it. Made it as well. Hey, but, Randy. He so. could have. He could have. All these men are. No, it's not. It's always in Chicago. It's only been in Dallas like one time this year. Wait, Keeks. Let me. I was. I meant. I was gonna. Ask, when I thought about the scrum and the fallout of the scrum, I want to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. 
when Adam Page lost to Brian Danielson, yeah. was that him having to fall on his sword like Triple H had to for a bunch after the curtain call? Okay, let's make it sure. Let's make it sure. Yeah. I, 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 I had an observation. Thank you for confirming. He 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 taking a, a chill out a little bit. Chill he was, out. He was with the Dark Order. Yeah, and supposedly he's breaking up with the dark order so yeah he did a long instagram post i didn't see oh so they're splitting ways yeah he's splitting his ways with him good good what you mean good you don't like him with them i i like adam page as a competitor in the main event scene solo okay i think when he's got to pull the wheelbarrow with Evil Uno, and no disrespect to them, but they're elevated when they're rocking with him. Or he's being pulled back a little when he's rocking with them. So I think it's probably for the best, especially if whenever everybody gets unsuspended and, and things start moving again, yeah. Adam Page's going to be, he got, he's in that mix, right? They was, they, they was already moving towards something. So, uh, yeah, it, he's not, I don't think he's booked for anything for this uh, coming week. So, Damn, see ya. Yeah, he he taking yeah. a little nap. He gonna he gonna be at the bar outside of Arthur Ashe. Yeah, he gonna be chilling. He chilling and catering, eating and shit. Salutes. Salutes to uh, Adam Page. So yeah, Moxley took the win. So we got Moxley and Danielson uh, for Wednesday for uh, Grand Slam for the uh, AEW Championship. <laughs> six time, six time world about to be seven. Sorry. Nola not- Champion Part Two. We we lost. I lost. You, you, I I've, lost. I'm I'm surprised they've not talked about the Blackpool Combat Club at all, huh? I lost. <laughs> I, I lost. Uh, it was a good match. I lost. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about yeah, it. We'll talk about it. But we'll uh, after that happened, MJF came out. Scar Boy. Uh, he came out to do a promo against Moxley. I guess that shit was still on his mind. So hmm. don't be surprised if we see my, uh, MJF run out just like a kind of quote unquote money in the bank. And mm-hmm. he said it either Danielson or Moxley. And he mentioned it a couple weeks. So he said, I got a chip on my shoulder and I can cash it in anytime I want or whatever. And the crowd said, yeah. And then five minutes later, he said, fuck you, MJF. You, right, you tripped us again, you bitch. Sorry, but I t- I already said like a long time ago he was next on the list to win a championship anyway. Like I saw the pattern in it, I saw the order that they're doing it. So that makes sense. Like, people are ready for he, 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 with him being like the as big of a heel as he can be with mm-hmm. that squad of uh, uh, never mind behind him. He he can he can have a little run with 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 with, with Stoke in his corner. Doing yeah. the dirty work, yeah. But it better be do that. Yeah, do that at full gear. Don't do that in this way. <laughs> so, what happened? The, the Eagles lost. Who? The Eagles lost. They what winning happened? supposedly. She they showing me. That's the why she, like, <laughs> she said, "Look, look, look." Right, like you see me doing it, I don't care. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just the best I'm sorry. Um, but after Jericho. that, from Jericho going for the Ocho, Jericho ain't doing nothing. He ain't doing not near nothing. Not too much. Um, <laughs> you can still get goofy of the week, Cal. It's not over. I didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Sorry. Moving on, because. Before Cal started, then you had Stokely and the new uh, thing he calls the firm. Um, you had uh, Steroid Edge, Frank <laughs> Ocean, the Ass Boys, and Ethan Page. Frank Ocean is great. I like how the only one you mention is Ethan Page. He's the one that's most ready for you. Yeah, I love Ethan Page. I've always what, loved Ethan Page. Where is he realistically in that group? He should be like the leader. He should be. He Are they going to like leader? But he Stokely's so making it seem like they're a group, but not a group group. Like they are like an alliance. 
Well, because, I mean, what can... The, the thing that, that tripped me out about whatever reports and whatever people saying online is, what like, the first time you see that image, if you could throw that image back up, that image of Stokely and then five guys that you normally didn't see together. Right. What else is it going to be? He has to, at the very least, set everything up. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. I don't know if Frank Ocean and Diet Test are going to be able to work together. <laughs> Diet. <laughs> Diet Test. Look at him. He looked like he he looked like he about to grab a all he needs is a flannel and an yeah. axe and he about to go to the woods for about eight hours and, and, and give you all the firewood this for this fall. It's it's a weird it's a weird mix, but that's why Stoke has to go out there and be like, look, here's this weak framework that I have right now. Trust me, you'll see us doing work and you're gonna hate us in a minute. But I don't like none of them was talking. I don't know if Morrissey can talk. Right. I don't know what people expect it. He 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 did a little bit in impact, mm. but it's impact. So I didn't really pay too much attention. Did he didn't talk at all? Did he because I mean he was with Enzo, so he didn't have well, to I really think Enzo talk. Enzo did more to talking in WWE. Right. So it, it, it again it's uncharted waters. I'm sorry, diet I've been calling him diet test for a minute though. He's been diet test since yeah. they was in the WWE. I mean it, it is what it is. He looked like steroid edge. Steroid edge is crazy. He looked like steroid edge. But um I saw the dirt sheets was upset because they was like Stokely. Um they didn't like the promo. They were just picking on shit. And then it didn't make sense what they were saying. I was just like, how you gonna be how you gonna like Bobby Heenan, but you ain't gonna like what Stokely doing? It's basically the same thing. It's the same it's Gary Hart, it's Bobby Heenan, it's Jimmy Hart. I mean, this it's is how same shit. when you build a heel stable based off of a manager, this is what you get. Yeah. Go look at what was the shit called? You know, the J Tex Corporation. It was like Buzz Sawyer and Great Muda and a bunch of other randoms. And Gary Hart was just with him, like, yo, he about to kill you, motherfucker. And then when they had to do the Thunderdome, it mm -hmm. was all his dudes in the match fighting Flair and them. This is pro wrestling. What do you yeah. want? Y'all need to learn y'all history. That's the fucking problem. Y'all just be saying shit. Y'all, y'all don't it's know nothing about nothing. Y'all need to just. It's cause I'm, song. it's cause I'm old though. I watched all this shit. I grew up watching Abdul the Butcher and the Chair. Like I've I've seen it. I watched this. So <laughs> and it, but the, the thing realistically, you was not seeing oh, heaven. Cal. You not seeing heaven. <laughs> that's what that man did. That's what he did. He had to fake that, and he got he got that off. But if you, I mean, again, if you just took a step back and looked at what came before, like. 20 years, 30 years, 40. You'll see the the the, the, the blueprint is right there. You just got to take it. Right and, and, and it'd be good. Like, you can't tell me you're not going to enjoy Great Muda in, like, 89. When I was a kid... I don't know who that is, Cal. When I was a kid... Talk about Sting, y'all, y'all goat Sting right now. He's, however old he is in AEW, shouts to him. I saw him every Friday night catching handspring elbows off a of great mood and whatnot just mm -hmm. going crazy for the wcw tv title but i'm old i'm old but i'm just saying like just, just do your googles just do your guy anyway I'm do your sorry. googles <laughs> what do you say on that do your googles <laughs> he's funny though he's but uh funny. after that <laughs> uh, we had a we had a Jay Lethal versus Jungle Boy. Um, I, I would say Jay Lethal does a great job uh, elevating people in the ring, even though yeah. I don't really too much care for him. Uh, he, he, made, he made Jungle Boy look like a million bucks tapping out and shit. That was crazy. You know, Cal. Eagles. Is the Eagles winning? <laughs> yes, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. He said, did you have your shoes on? Your Where shoes? the shoes at? Early, I did my other ones. I ain't have my uh, Jordans. I had my other ones on. That's why they win it. <laughs> Cal, don't. Don't <laughs> be hating, Cal, boy, man. Hey, don't be hating. Don't be hating. 
But uh, yeah, I, I I don't too much care for Lethal, but he does do a great job with the younger stars. Um, so I'll give him that credit. Uh, right. Jungle Boy, you can see Jungle, Jungle Boy. He does great each match. Like he elevates each match he does. So cute little match. Um, n- nothing I asked for, so I watched it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was just oh okay, Jungle Boy, Jay Lethal, because our Christian is hurt right now, so they just you know got him. That's move. tough. I know. That's real tough. Because they was about to work, right? Yeah, they they was yeah they about to set something up for Wednesday. Injuries. It happens though. Everybody. It, it catch everybody. It happens. It happens to everybody. But so we ain't gonna be too long on that because I ain't too much care for that. Yeah. Um, and then you got Powerhouse Hobbs versus Matt DeMartino. He killed that man. Killed them. Like, I looked down and the match was over. Killed that man so bad. Look, his lip was bleeding. I don't know how. Well, if he did, he bust his lip. Like, did one of that man's ribs hit him in the face or something? I think so. Yeah, he hit him in the mouth a little bit. I saw that. He was cutting the promo. And then Ricky made it a little worse. (laughs) (laughs) When he look all of a sudden, this man gushing blood. That's what the hell is going on? Right. I was like, wipe your mouth. I like that though. I like that. Make make powerhouse Hobbs as strong as you want to make them. Yeah. Do it. And, and they're doing a good job at doing it. And mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Like powerhouse Hobbs is looking strong. They continuing the storyline because after that match, Ricky Stars came down. Mm-hmm. He's channeling his The Rock. He is channeling his Dwayne Johnson a little bit. He said that was he said that was his number three favorite yeah. wrestler growing up. But he uh he 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 can work it. He he knows yeah. how to work a crowd. He just said, "Crowd said Ricky." They was hype. They was hype. <laughs> when he won, Ricky. They was and he hype. Did, he did the eyebrow too, I think. They was hype for it. I I can't. I'll, they need a longer match next time, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't minutes. know what that was about. To be honest with you, usually I know the scoop, but I didn't know the scoop on this one. I don't know. What ended up happening? I think somebody time went longer or something like that. I think this would happen. Somebody time went longer in the match. They only had, I will say, they only had so much storyline and they didn't, they did not do anything the dynamite before. So if a time was, if a a match was going to get cut for time, I wasn't surprised it was that match, but that was one of the matches that I was looking forward to. Right. So if they could run that back as some, Put it on rampage. Give me fifteen minutes. Do something. Oh, look at that. That's this Friday, huh? Mm-hmm. Look at that. See, beer, I, beer, I, beer, beer. I will yeah, say, I'm, I may be an old ass man, but AEW look out for me every now. <laughs> AEW look out for me every now and again. We'll talk every about now, it a little yeah, bit. Every, you got to do the song. Beer, 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 whatever the rampage. Beer, 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 beer. That's All funny. right, and then so after that, we had Swerve and Alucha. Oh, that the tag matches. That was match of the night. That was match of the night. No, no, no cap. No Swerve cap. and Alucha. It's but it's Lucha. I, I I don't know if I know a bad Lucha Bros match. Not yeah. saying that. Not saying that. Um, Swerve and our glory got elevated at all. I mean, they they held their own. They, I mean, shit. Keith is a, a monster. Mm-hmm. Swerve, he moves. Swerve, Swerve, and Phoenix—they're probably going to get a solo, a, a singles match at some point, just to see them bouncing oh, yeah. off the ropes and doing all types of shit. But Keith, the day I don't, I'm, I, I told Keeks, I'm not, a, I've never been a fan of the Canadian Destroyer. It's something about that move. The first time I saw, it, I said that looks weird. But this, I don't know if this is the Mexican Destroyer. But what I'm saying is I didn't see I, I saw the Bucks and a lot of white pro wrestlers do and it always looked like oh they're doing a backflip. It never looked like what it was supposed to look like. And even this, because it's Keith Lee and he's he's the biggest man in the ring, Keith is gonna do the quick Canadian destroyer if he wants to do the Canadian destroyer. And he did that. He was all into that shit, and that shit looked beautiful. Boy, Ma- Penta hit that shit too beautiful. Like, oh, Penta's, Penta's a man. That nigga, man. Penta's they, that, nigga. That, that whole spot was created from Ray Phoenix, and then 
Penta jumped off and then did the. It was beautiful, beautiful. That, segment. Was dope. Love that whole segment was dope. That whole they they had, they had a couple crazy. of spots. It was a couple of spots in that match, but again, I I, I ever since I started watching AEW, I've never seen a I ne- something I'd say. Oh, that Lucha Bros match was bad. It's all even when my man's broke his arm. That shit was still hard. That match was hard yeah. up until he broke his arm. Up until that part, that shit was like everybody was like, holy shit, turn that off. Stop the match. <laughs> that shit was ugly. That this shit was, was looking like, oh now mind you. <laughs> for people for, for people in the chat that don't send us fight videos, like me and Keeks, we be watching some shit. I we watch people fighting in the phone booth and shit. When but that the man, the funniest one we saw was the girl catching him off guard with that roach. <laughs> She's... It was four of them in the car. She had a whole. It, I mean, I it was. Why she had coming? I do not know. They they on the live like you couldn't see nobody in the window like somebody and and they all got fucked up because they all oh like that was crazy. Me was naturally, crazy. I always turn around and look around like I just that's just me. How do you I, not? I'm, if y'all don't learn nothing today, observe your surroundings. Always, always, always. know what's going on. If your head's not on swivel when you outside, I'll, even shit, stairs right here. I'm always. I hear something. The front door. That's how I'm like. This window. Somebody at this window. They can't see in. But hey, who that by my window? Like you, you just gotta be. So the fact that homegirl came in with the industrial strength road spray. And sprayed it all up in the car. It was crazy. I'm sorry. <laughs> they was, <laughs> and the girl tweeted, say, yeah, she caught us lacking. I'm like, yeah, she did. <laughs> all live. She did. We all saw it. God. We saw it in 4K that y'all got caught lacking. We but, uh, one of these one of these days, Keeks, we gotta react to, to fight videos on well, cool. we can't do, YouTube is not gonna I you know. can't. Graham, Graham would say, "No, nah, we we gotta shut we gotta shut down the card if y'all trying to put this shit up on YouTube because they they they'll fuck the whole game up. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yes, yeah, yeah, that's so what. Well, 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 because at one point, that one guy got rocked and he was just like, all right, all right, all right, all right. Twitch. Twitch. That Twitch. You Probably. Yeah, I think Twitch, um, but it's uh, Twitch is, it's like a, another list of shit you can't say or do, but oh, Twitch is definitely, uh, they, and, and, and hey, at, some, at a certain point, damn, it's free game. If they you, uh, watch language. What well, well, the thing? Well, it's, it's it's like you you can't say certain things, but um, them Twitch subscriptions be five dollars a sub. So yeah. if you it's, it's it shouts out to them young cats from the Bronx that's on there getting like seventy k subs. Just just add that up monthly. Shout out to the Bronx, but <laughs> I ain't from there. All day, all you day. You're from the Bronx, so I know that you dirty, dirty, dirty. <laughs> <laughs> heart's gonna kill me. I seen that picture of her and 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 uh, hold up. The dude from uh, what's the name? My man from Stranger Things, Yo, Lucas. Oh, I know that's right. He, she, said. she get, he said, "Here, here, you want the black card? You just take the wallet." Just and she said, "All right." You both did me dirt. So how could I lose? She like, said, that nigga a munch. That's my son. <laughs> you thought I was silly? Um, a munch. <laughs> it's to the keys. You see, she she ain't got, she go she doing live shows. Yeah. At a certain point, you don't hear what she's saying. She just start twerking. <laughs> <laughs> I see two videos at Rolling Loud. I didn't know. I didn't because the song is playing, so she's rapping to the song. At a certain point, she just stopped and she just started twerking, and that's when the crowd's like, "Yeah!" So she earned her check. Yeah, we both from the Bronx, so I know that you dirty, dirty, that's, dirty. That's crazy. She <laughs> said, "She said, I fucked on your bro. That's no loving, fuck. no loving a mooch or a smooch. What? I, I, I be having to figure out because I don't know Bronx lingo like that. A smooch." She said, "We, I fucked up your bros. So how could I lose? Like, I'm like, what? This is- no loving the smooch. 
no love in the smooth. You, I know you love me because I'm dirty and rude. What the fuck? She was. That's crazy. I don't know nothing about the Bronx. Shout out to the Bronx, though, because for a week, what's the name? Ice Spice? Yeah. She was hanging out with Cardi not too long ago. So. Drake Drake done flew Drake flew her out months ago. I forgot about that. It's it's because she fine and she got ass. That's why, like I said, she goes, she do them shows, she twerk. That's all they want to see. Yeah. So no but dirt. let's go to the main event. Um, <laughs> we had Jared Goat versus Daniel Goat. This um, was. This match, I was, I was scared. Yeah, this yeah. shit right here. Yeah, yeah. This shit had me shook when, when, uh, when, when Dick, cause they, it what he, he landed on the outside, and once he grabbed his ankle, anytime they used to get hurt since he came back to WWE a couple years back, I'm like, this is wild. I was like, I is he gonna make it? He did. There was a match where he, with him and Sami Zayn, Sami Zayn hit a brain buster on the ring apron. I was like, oh shit, Davidson done. He done, but he's just good. That that fucking Jericho Walls of Jericho half Boston Crab bullshit. I was shook. I Boston I was not ready crab. for Jericho winning. I'm Boston sorry. Boston Crab. That's what it looked like. Plus, what was the image? Show the picture, Graham. Show the, of, show the, of my goat. The half-ass wall. Yeah, look at this shit. He was tired. No, he was not. He, he no, was, he was in Jack. pain. He was no, he was not. No, he was. Cat don't do this. Jericho okay? was I'm tired. Still grieving. Davidson I'm said, "A little bit of the bubbly." Davidson said, "Yo, I know you're tired. Watch this. I'm gonna hurt my foot, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna just rest holds for like twenty minutes." Oh, I'm a arm drag. He said, "We gonna build the intensity, cause you know I'm the dragon." And guess what happened? He had me shook again. Up until ten o'clock, I'm like, "This ain't gonna happen." Every time he would get a move, your goat hit his hit his foot, hit his ankle, and I'm like, "Fuck! It's no way! It's no way!" And then what? And then what? Some bullshit happened. Oh, oh, oh! It sounds like <laughs> it. What? What it really sounds like is this farce of appreciating Jericho and sports entertainment and all that is really what it is. Jericho having to fall on the sword and being the fall guy for the real rap out there, the Daniel Garcias and uh, and the weirdly Yudas. And I mean, what 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 are we talking about? Claudio Casanova came back and won the title that your man's is trying to wrestle for on Wednesday. It's a lot of real rap in AEW, and I think based off of what's been going on, the if if y'all did not pay attention to the Daniel Garcia. Brian Daniels and Chris Jericho stuff. The seeds was already there. Yeah. Re realistically, if we want to get real, I knew it was going to be the two heads of the Blackpool Combat Club facing each other. For it was perfect. You got on the one end Danielson is saying "fuck that." It's real rap every match. I don't care who's in the match. It's real rap to the point where he's going to go to the ops and say, "Look." <laughs> that work you got right over there, that's one of them ones right there. I need that. I need that. And what Garcia said, Jericho, don't 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 keep hitting on that man. That's my idol. So that's my idol. But guess what? Who was who came out after Garcia won that ROH title? Who was out in the ring? Jericho. Who ran down there? Jericho. Who was in the ring with these? His his goat. Jericho. His idol. Jericho. Your future AEW world champion come Wednesday night, Brian Day. John Moxley, am I not mistaken? John Moxley about to be feet up. He yeah. overdue. Yeah, because he's supposed to been take his vacation, but you know, people acting a fool and he had to come in like you, you, but do you, do you think Moxley is moving like somebody who is delaying another vacation? With his wife at home with the baby, 
potting all the time. He needs to be home chill. He he missed his summer. Yeah, summer pop was supposed to be locked at home. That's what he about to do. He about to go chill. He better. He said, "Now nah, I'm about to get back on the vacation I was supposed to be on." And guess what? Dancing on had that world title. Claudio gonna be with him. Wheeler Yuta and Daniel Garcia, who already had three bangers and is beat, they beefing on the low, is part of the squad. You got William. It's about to be the fall of the Blackpool Combat Club, and that's a double entendre. It's the don't hate the player. I just want the little bit of the bubbly part too. I'm look, may, maybe that'll happen, but I don't. Can he beat Claudio? He couldn't be Claudio Daddy. <laughs> again, I but again, I'm just watching the show. Wait a minute, I'm which just, daddy? Danielson. Who else is Claudio Daddy right now? He has been his daddy and he's been his grandpa. Look. Look. Jericho is not he winning that. His grandpa's tea. Jer- Jericho, I- I'll say this. There's two things that could happen on Wednesday night that would be great storytelling that I would hate. The first thing would be your man's MJF cashing in that that chip and stealing the title from Danielson. And I could I can totally see that I will not be surprised. I'll be pissed if I hear that music. He's I will be so upset. I may take my remote and throw it at the TV. The other thing. I because again because of that story I was talking about I could totally see Jericho winning the ROH title, and that kind because that would mean he would be around Daniel Garcia a lot more. Maybe he wins the title and the whole thing is oh shit I'm approved to him I'm I'm the lion heart and I can steal I don't there's a lot of things that could happen with your man's messing yeah. around with the real rap in AEW right now that I, I, it makes sense but I would hate either of those things happening. Why you keep saying the real rap like he ain't either? Chris Jarrett, come on. He is real rap. Come on. No. He, say it again. What, what was that last thing you said? He used to be. He used to be. But he still I, is. You saw, like you, I said. You saw the main event. Keeks, Keeks, let me look. Look, he had a good dance partner. A couple. He fought with the last time he said he was a Lionheart. He was with John Moxley. He put all that bullshit about being the last man from the dungeon, the, the Hart family dungeon. I watched Lion. That was the first time I saw Chris Jericho was Lionheart, Chris Jericho in ECW. That was not him. He started out with, I'm gonna do a couple holds and what it come out to be. He's 51. Let, let me let me, it, it was let me mark up my head. He was never that Lionheart in ECW. He's 51, Cal. He ain't got to be doing the Dusty Road slice and dice. It could have been something different. He's 51 years old, Cal. I didn't like that. It's, if, if you're going to say you're the Lionheart and all you're really doing is the walls of Jericho and a lion saw, bro, I be, you've been doing that. You ain't, got, you ain't got a front for me. I understand that you old. That's why I want you to sit down a little bit. He can't. Button up. He always rock it. He don't put his shirt on. He rocked the blazer. Button up the blazer. Get you a cane. And you could be Oliver Humperdinck. You could be whoever, whatever dope manager they think you need to be to put over. What's his name? What's the big dude's name? Which one? The one that's behind him, the MMA dude. The big nigga in the JAS. What's his name? Hager. Jake oh. Hager, be be the weirdo wizard to Jake Hager, and who is, is Sammy Guevara and them still with JAS? I don't know who's still in the group at this point. It's, it's still it's still Hager, Sammy Guevara. Then you got Anna J now and and uh uh Tay Conti. They don't need him. And Anna J. Oh, is, oh Anna, and uh, uh uh the big head and his partner. 2.0, former 2.0. Yeah. Yeah, worry about them. Daniel, Jericho, Jericho, Daniel Garcia is good. He found his, his wrestling daddy. <sighs> Daniel Garcia, Westside Gun, and Brian Danielson going out. They're going to go eat some veggie burgers, 
West Side about to play them the mixtape. They're mm -hmm. gonna get contact highs and they're gonna go wrestle for about two hours. Jericho ain't doing that for them, and Daniel Garcia don't even need it. He wanna be wrestling in ROH on the mat all day. He ain't trying to worry about that sports entertainment bullshit. Look at this. Get Jericho the fuck on out of here. I, I, all right, that's enough. Get Jericho the that's fuck enough. on out of okay. here. That's enough. He, don't, he ain't going nowhere. You know why? Because he is the household name. He's, TNT he, said he got to be on TV. Je, I will say this. Jericho, and I'm sorry, Jericho, greater than sign CM Punk, if we're talking about the legends that they need in the back at AEW right now, but oh, that's yeah. not the conversation we're talking about. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to say that every time my Jericho is a main event, they get that meal. So I'm just I'm I'm just saying since 2020, when they I'm just letting it be known. So he's he, uh, he, he, y'all can't beat my ass though. Put that graphic back up. That graphic was hard. Put that, that graphic, graphic back up, Graham. That graphic was hard. Yeah, it is hard. That's the storyline. Yeah. When out, outside of everything that's going on in AEW, Who this is stuff. Man? He Luke. <laughs> is he supposed to be Luke Skywalker? Probably. Pro yeah. He, or he but he, <laughs> the thing is the the <laughs> the Brian Danielson that the that the AEW wrestlers love. Uh -huh. Was the one in ROH that was Luke Skywalker you saw in the first three movies. Right now he's Luke Skywalker, the the fucking hologram with the shit, the, the the jaded motherfucker. Like don't even worry about. It. If you really want to learn, you can learn. But no, it's gonna be a life of pain and bullshit. So I don't re even really want to teach you. But I see that you, Daniel Garcia. I see you got the tools. Right. Come to Blackpool. Anyhow, we're gonna move on to Rampage. Now, Rampage, we're gonna skip through it because it was just some it was some stop. stuff on there. I feel like don't need to be talked about too much. Um, like the first one, uh Darby Allen versus Matt Hardy. I don't know why that happened. Um Darby won, obviously. Yeah, good. Yeah, it was it was a little, yeah, you know. They were telling stories too, and I'm like, why? I don't I don't need all this. Yeah, all of that just for Brody King of the House of Black to come out and be like, we want you and Sting. I love Sting, so. Oh. God. I'm, I'm, so. I, that's a bathroom match. And, and that's House of Black. <laughs> Shouts out to Malachi Black on some real shit. I saw yeah, that uh, that message he posted. Um, and After hearing everything and to know what he's been going through. Um, and I mean, I only say, I only mention it because I saw that it said House of Black there. It was way too long. That match was way too long. That it match, yeah, long. no. Well, that's the thing. I, I, I ended up watching the whole show, but I did stop watching at a certain point because it, it was too much stuff going on before yeah. what I actually wanted to see. I fucks with Matt Hardy, but it's okay to just call it quiz, my dude, or just be a manager or just, you know, do the background work. You don't have to do a match. Yeah. You, you know, you don't taking the money. He took all that money from private party. He couldn't start his own little stable. Matt Hardy, you really don't have too much to prove. You're in like one of the greatest tag teams ever. They love so you, they you really love have you. nothing too much to prove. Just continue to guide the, the tag division. Do that. Word. You Word. Really gotta do all of that. Uh so and then after that bullshit, we had um Jericho wanna add to his resume of the ROH. Uh Claudio cut a promo, of course. Uh Claudio was appeasing the old folk. Um, I hope this. I hope this match is good because I. No, I don't I think it's gonna be I, good, Jericho. I, don't don't do him. You know he no. delivers when it's time. I will say this, Keeks, and and you know me. I'm more like I don't. I don't need to see Claudia. Like I'm. I'm I've been on some like. So you just like Graham? Y'all just don't like Claudia like that. I've been on some like what I don't like. What is his character? I think he's Who's just a a wrestling nigga. Yeah, that's it. I want to wrestle, and I'm gonna put in this uh, this this mouth guard that's got vampire teeth on it with my weird zip up and my 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 headband and my 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 earmuffs and ah, and I'm gonna swing you around like it. None of it seems to fit at a certain point. Like I know that there's stuff that's over, but maybe he should build towards what's over and not try and be 
three different types of nobodies. That's why that he's this- saying he for the old folk. He for the uh the fifty and above. Yeah, I'm about to say because it ain't my it ain't me. Yeah, he no, wrestling for me. He 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 fought them uh seventies and uh sixties babies. They, 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 I, 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 <laughs> he he get he get the old people demos up. So yeah. they appreciate Claudio. He, he know, that still Claudio remind, he remind me of one of them old ass wrestlers. Um um what's the nigga name? Um uh, <laughs> it, it ain't gonna cuss me. It's gonna cuss me lighter. But he remind me of one of them. He, rem- he he looked like somebody whose fans still call it catch as catch can. You know what I'm saying? Like they really <laughs> stuck on the old, old, old. And it's cool. And he's strong and he does his thing. But like at a certain point, you what's next? What what are you? Who are you? I mean, no. He's like Grisham, but he he don't mind working with everybody. He he don't act like Grisham. He kind of remind me of that. Like I have That's to run Tony- this type of style. That's why Tony gave the title. He said, "Yo, you're you're him, but I can work with you." Yeah. Damn. You're just what? like him, but you can work with everybody. You don't have to be, you know. What I'm saying you're not telling me what rank you were and stuff, shit like that. Now, Gresham, the the way that whole situation sorted out, it felt like Gresham was a. Uh, from the school of Bret Hart. There's a bunch of people again, I, as I'm getting old, I'm realizing that uh there are multiple schools. And like if you're a Bret Hart guy. Yes, who said Bruno? Bruno. That's Bruno. Like, just like, Bruno. That's, him. that's Claudio. Is, it, it's Bruno. It's not Larry. Larry, I don't think Larry wasn't as physically strong. Like he wouldn't. Yeah, that's show definitely strength not like Larry. Bruno. It's Bruno. Thank it's you, Bruno Nicholas. Sure. Yeah, and shouts Nicholas. out to Nicholas. Nicholas, that's, you got ten points. <laughs> just, just keep it to yourself. Mark it down on your paper and let you us know how you did it. Thank you. That's what nah. I'm trying to remember the name. Damn. Triple H will be mad at you. I'm sorry, Trips. <laughs> I know. I hear he loves. I hear he loves Bruno San Martin as you should. I'm, he loves Bruno. He don't reason why that man got the Hall of Fame. He's big and shit. He, but but Bruno San Martin in New York. Talk of, y'all talk about a sportatorium yeah, in New York. Out there. Bruno was that guy for a while. Again, that's Larry Zabisco daddy. He was around yeah. for a while. I would when when I didn't when I realized shit, he's not in the I know they had beef, but he, I was surprised he wasn't one of the first. Yeah. Bruno, that was that was the OG when I was when I was a kid. Bruno was that guy. Yeah. He, he he was talked about like how the kids gonna be talking about Brian Danielson, but we we could talk about that a little. We six months from now, when Brian Danielson is still on top, we had that. Con- we could say, "Yo, damn cow, you you was wild. You you knew what the fuck was gonna happen the whole time." I Bob Backlund. I I need the Danielson and Zach Saber Junior. Oh yeah, I need he, that. Well, he. The, what was the quote I saw? He said that he the, well the headline was he's not going to try and go to WWE. He was saying that he thinks that this AEW contract is his last con- last wrestling contract he's going to sign. And they mentioned again so the Japan Wrestle Kingdom. That's it's what it sounds like. Like they they made a point to mention that uh you know he said that he the reason he chose AEW because he could go to Japan and he could there was flexible to do these other things so i i would hope that after his reign as AEW world champion for however long Tony Khan lets his man be champ however long John Moxley wants to be on vacation honestly Damn. once he's done with that what when is um G1 G1 is uh it always starts around the spring so he oh. they already did it yeah, they already did the G1. They're going to say they start again in the spring. Uh, Okada won the G1 this year. I was going to say, it sounds like he got enough time to have a couple months as champion, lose the title, fly over to Japan, mm-hmm. take, because that's, that's, that's weeks. Be out there for weeks, get you A block, B block, whatever. Kill them niggas. <laughs> maybe, maybe have... Another little run because you know I, something tells me it could, Danielson never experienced that. Uh uh-uh. uh If he could run, 
If if he if he goes over there and and does really good in the G one climax, and he feel like oh I got a couple months, let me go run, let me be a guy gene and run with some of these cats over there. You don't know. There's a couple dream matches. You you mentioned people. I yeah. imagine the chat wants to see who who Brian Danielson can wrestle over there. It's a lot. It's a lot that oh, can happen. I don't happen. want him. Uh, Zach Sabre Jr. definitely want him because he was like, I still want him because Claudio ain't do no technical ass match. No, I want who I came over here for. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this, and I I don't know. All right, I'm gonna test something. I don't know if if uh, what y'all call him TK. I don't know if TK listens. I don't know what type of moles are checking out and in tune to the public enemies feed to check out all elite with keeks every week. Y'all know the vibe. But from my lips to y'all ears, WWE has had a good thing going with Roman Reigns holding the titles for a while. If 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 Kenny Omega hurt, we don't know what's going on with CM Punk. Obviously, Jericho can't hold the bag. There's a lot of of guys. I'm sorry. It's a lot of guys who aren't ready or maybe they're not going to be able to do it. Let let Danielson win the title Wednesday. Hold that motherfucker to G1. Go into G1 as the constant guy G with the AEW World Championship. Run it's through all them game niggas game. for two, three weeks. Come back like I just murdered Japan. I'm going to murder the rest of y'all. And I'm going to get my guy. Come on. He got a great exit strategy as the man. Y'all be true for what? Be true for what? Cal, that's not happening. He going to have a title for 10 minutes. That's MJF going to run his scarf boy down and probably hit him with something. And Dan's going to be laid out. One, two, three, new champion. Then you're gonna be upset. And I'm gonna be. Like, I told you, Cal. I will say this. I still got some liquor left. I'm gonna leave this right here. No, I'm not dreaming. Again, Keith called me a dreamer when I told her that he was gonna be gonna be Jericho. Keith told me I was a dreamer when I at any time I mentioned how many times Keith be be real. How many times have I mentioned? All I need is bro. I need Brian Danson to win that title once. Too damn long. I'm a broken Since record with that. There, Since the moment he got there, Cal was like, "Give him the belt." So you, you expect me? The belt. Like, you, you expect me to stop dreaming when in two days this motherfucker could, could be my again? I don't brag too much on what I do. He been there a year. You know how I know he's been there a year? Because the first time I spoke to him was right before his match with Kenny Omega at Grand Slam last year. Am I not mistaken? Nope. No. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting for this. Just like y'all was so hyped. Oh, CM Punk. Oh my Ooh. God. He... I'm not saying you, but I I'm... Ain't want him there. I Keeks. Was so mad. Keeks, I'm not saying you, but I don't know how many people in this chat. I know a lot of people in the timeline. Yeah. Oh, he said he Nigga sat down Chris Charles he Apple calls. He is Chicago. Shit. They we... got ice cream bars. Niggas passing ice cream bars. Niggas was crying and was like they thought Jesus returned. Like it was mind, m- mind you, while that was happening, wrestling Jesus in that ring, making y'all guy Adam Page looking like a million bucks twice. And he didn't make him look like a million bucks. They didn't go in time limit twice. Like a million bucks. He ain't That's had no match like he had with Brian Danielson though. He had it with Kenny Omega, Cal. He ain't had no match like he had with Bro- twice on TV. He needed he had that. It with Kenny Omega. He looked like a gajillion bucks after getting out those matches. I, I, I Keeks, I'm gonna say this. I wish he had more matches like that because I like the way he looked when he was wrestling Brian Danielson in those matches. He needed more shit like that, and not the bull. And when, when I, I don't want to disrespect his run, but when I say that his run was underwhelming, it's because he went into that run on fire. Brian Danielson did what he needed to do in those matches and put that man and made that man look like a million bucks. The thing that y'all told me he was supposed to do. And then he had these matches with cats and they wasn't bad, but the shit was not on the same level. Them Adam it Cole matches was, was not popping like you know, that. It was 
Cal, I agree. You you are right. I agree with Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Shouts shout out to reasonable people in the room. <laughs> what just happened? I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. Y'all say I, hey I to my know. mama in the chat, y'all. She... Peace, mama. Shouts to my Eagles mama. winning. She said Eagles winning. If, if y'all got a parlay, Eagles is winning. 24 to 7? Damn. Oh, they beating Diggs and them? Dang. No, they playing Minnesota. Diggs play for oh. Buffalo. Buffalo is beating the mess out of Tennessee. Oh, it is the double header. Damn. Raw, if Raw's still on, Raw got like four viewers right now. I'm not watching. <laughs> Nobody watching there but people that don't watch football. I already saw Bobby Lashley win the title, so I'm good. I'm good. Hey, oh, he retained? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I, that's a spoiler. Yeah, no, they had. Well, no, yeah. They, I will say, Keeks, they had a really good, like, 20 minute ish opener. They went through, like, two different commercial breaks. They had a really okay. good match. But, uh, yeah, uh, Bob, it, but it was some, it was some fuckery at the end of the match. So, uh, it wasn't like Bobby just overpowered me. Yeah, some shit went on. Cause again, okay. Steph's, Steph's still working. But yeah, th- I saw Not that. And I, show up. I, what only thing I saw that and I saw, uh, <laughs> what's it real sports. Real sports. Yeah, <laughs> Alexa, oh, Alexa challenged B- Bailey for a match, but I don't think it was happening when I when I uh, was oh, getting ready Lord. for it. When I was getting ready to preach the gospel of Danielson. But moving along, because I gotta get to women business soon. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, what else happened? Uh, uh, then we already talked about. Uh, oh shit, Dan Housen versus Ethan Page. We ain't gotta go too long over there. Ethan Page squashed that man. The end. Um. Ricky Stars, we already talked about that. Mm-hmm. Um, then we got another old people's match. Uh, we had uh, Joe, Samoa Joe versus Tony. Um, not Tony Nese, but Josh Woods. I saw Josh I, Woods for the first time when I was in Dallas for the uh, ROH show. He's okay. pretty good. It was a good match. I just I was at, at the point of the night where it, it, it was going on. I tapped out. I said, I, yeah, I will come here yeah. and watch it tomorrow. Right. It's late. Um. Not for, not, for, happening. not for a main event, also. Yeah, that was the main event. Um, and then uh, they Tony Nese ended up coming out. They attacked Samoa Joe, and then you had Warlow coming out. So, like I said on the last couple of shows, they put more ROH stuff on Rampage because they're still working at this uh, ROH deal. But mm. I'm hearing rumors that ROH will probably have their own uh, show on TNT instead of T- TBS. I don't know if they going to move. Dynamite back to TNT and then have ROH on TBS, but I heard it's something to that nature. Wasn't there? There was another story that dropped like a week or so ago. So, I don't know how the validity of it is, but they were saying that uh, TNT or Warner Media, whoever was looking for more pro wrestling content, so maybe there's a way. It maybe instead of replacing an hour of AW, maybe it's a third hour of pro wrestling in the week. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so that's that's what I've heard so far. So if you're confused about the ROA stuff, they just putting you know certain people on uh AEW platforms so that way when ROA do have their own stuff, y'all know right. what's going on and blah 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 blah. Oh, excellent, it's smart, Very yeah, smart. it's just a smart tech, blah 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 blah. So that was Rampage, not too much happened, you know, it was one of those nights, it was, yeah, um. Wait. Kenny's supposed to be over Rampage, but y'all know he's suspended, so they just <laughs> get that man the fuck out of there. They show yeah. he re- wait wait they show pictures of Kenny at his thing, and he had a mark on his arm. They, he really bit that man like that. Yeah, he bit that man. It's been two weeks. He got a whole. He had a whole brown spot on his arm. He bit that man hard. Was he hungry? for for CM Punk? <laughs> what she? Oh, I'm gonna say was she was he hungry? <laughs> <laughs> Now, what a, you know the, the handsome man that you like at AEW, CM Punk, that you said is a nice looking white man? He fought um, um, Young Bucks and Kenny Omega, so he's suspended and he out of injury. Um, yeah. Because he bit somebody? No, nah, yeah, his friend did. His homie did because he was oh. trying to suck his dick. Yeah, that was, it was crazy. It was They they had a whole fight, so they said That shit was him. weird. That shit was weird. Like a real fight, like yeah, they had a real fight. Because, yeah, they had a real fight because he he got on there and he was just like, uh, basically talking talking noise, talking about something. If y'all gonna pull up, pull up, and they pulled up and then end up being a fight. 
I'm hurt and I'm old and I'm fucking tired and I work with fucking children. It's me. Yeah, that's what he's. I felt that last part though. I, 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 I felt, felt that. that. <laughs> we were fucking children. Yeah, I've been there. I work there. with children. I felt I've been, that. I've been like, there. oh, I work with children. But um, next segment is women business. Like I said, I changed the format of my show to focus on the women. So like if you're a man, hush. Because oh. all men should stay out of women business. Because that's women business. All men should stay out of women business. That part. Um, we're going to start out with the. <laughs> Uh, for Dynamite, we had the AW Women's Interim World Champion Tony Storm with Athena. Um, Athena replaced um, the original partner. Uh, I, I'm assuming it was supposed to be Thunder Rosa, um. but she's injured or whatever. Um, so they got Athena. Um, so Tony and Athena worked before, so of course they have good dynamic, good chemistry. And it was versus your girl Serena Deeb um, and um, Britt Baker. Um, great match. It was actually good. It was a good uh tag women's tag match. Um, yeah, but you you got the you got the. I was gonna say I, I don't know if that's the right image you got because because it was the other two women that was really banging. Britt Baker did good too. This is women business, cow. We're spreading no, positivity. No, I'm not saying they were bad. I'm saying oh. Deeb and 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 and, and Tony Storm. I, I'll say this. And this is I, and and this is no bullshit. Cause this is what I DM'd you. Watching that, watching her D beat the shit out of Storm. I said, all I need is her and Danielson, Deeb and Danielson, to be the AAA Mitch Tag Team Champions. Oh my but god, girl. why not? That, I mean, it, it's to the point, and I, and no disrespect to Danielson in this situation. But if you wanted to do like a perfect pro wrestling couple. Danielson and Deeb as the triple A mixed tag champions, just they both got the little bell blocks in the ring. They vignettes, they like they watching or they watching tape together, like taking notes, reading books and shit. Like they they really I'm sorry, it's women business. I apologize. Women business, Cal. I'm sorry. <clears throat> To answer Ken Lewis's question, um, he said the match was good. Why did Hater attack Storm instead of Brit? It is brewing a story. Because as you pay attention to when that happened, because she did take the chair from um, um, Britt Baker and then attack Tony. And then also, though, but she ended up leaving and didn't want to acknowledge Britt. And Britt is saying that she's sorry. So it's just a story. Be patient. Just let let the cookers cook, okay? Let it, let it play patient. out, y'all. Let it play out. Just let it play out because it's a good story going on. It's another story going on. So just let it play out. And then um, we'll get on to Rampage because that was the only women's segment that happened on Dynamite um, besides uh, Anna J and Tony Storm. I mean, not Tony Storm, but Anna J and Tay Conti. They do what they do um, for jazz. So besides those two. We're going to move on to Rampage. You had uh, Jay Cargill with the baddies. Um, Jay Cargill basically talking to shit, uh, looking for another opponent. Obviously, they're still trying to work something yes. out because Chris the Stallion is injured. And you can obviously tell that what they had brewing was for Chris the Stallion right. to be the next TBS Women's Champions. But that is on hold. So... They trying to figure it out now for Jade's storyline because that was part of the storyline. Yes, Cal, you have a question. Your hands raised. Are we gonna get? Uh, how long before we get uh, Kiara Hogan and Layla Gray? Because every week they the, they they ready. I've, I've had this private conversation with Hearts. the 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 best way that I can put it without making it seem like somebody is a certain problem. Um, when you have a certain someone that is focusing on them, oh. and there you. you go. That, that's you. all I can. I, I'm just saying it without saying it. Got you. Um, Say what? Yeah. Uh, it, basically, like when that popular girl wants to make sure that the people that is surrounding her stay here while she's up here. No uh, shade. Uh, hey. No shade. It's wrestling. the truth, though. It's no shade, but it's the truth. So, um, uh, just I just put it this way: what Red Velvet said the first time, she didn't lie. Okay. Oh, okay. 
She didn't lie. Go back in the archives if you don't know what she's talking about. If, yeah, and and I've seen it for myself, so I already know what she's talking oh. about. It's like, okay. Oh. I had my oh. own experience myself, so I was like, oh, okay. Hey, salutes to Queen Jay Cargill, salutes yeah. to Kara Hogan, yeah. salutes from Taylor yeah. Gray, salutes, salutes to Jamie Hayter. Yeah. Uh, Jamie Hayter grabbed that chair. I said, oh. Let me take a look at what Jamie Hayter's is talking about right now. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if, if, if that's what y'all looking for, if you want to really ask me, you can DM me or whatever, but the sisters know what I'm talking about. Cause we, we saw it a long time ago. It's like, Damn. Pete. Oh, she's one of those. And then I was just like, the sorority she in us. Oh, that speaks for itself. So no shade though, but but yeah, I don't know nobody. I just be yeah, old. I just be mean, watching TV. You probably like scratching their hair right now, but the women's they understand. Yeah, we it's women are, business. Women business. Uh, uh, we ain't seen a section in how long? But uh, <clears throat> anyway, oh yeah, damn, that's a good point. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> um. That happened. So you had Diam Diamante stepped up um, to take the challenge. So now we got Jay Cargill versus Diamante. Um, yeah. So we got that going she's on gonna, or whatever. She's going to kick that lady head off. Yeah, it's, that's going to be easy. Um, what else I had on her? Oh, and uh, we had Penelope Ford versus Willow Nightingale. That was a great match. Probably what? the best women's match that week. Facts. Penelope, like I said, because she Oof. was my AEW Women's Champion. I mean, my AEW Women's uh, Wrestler of the Week last week. Mm. Penelope Ford was, has been in the booth. No, yeah, she was great. She's this is solid. in the booth, bro. She's definitely next up. I've not I've not watched a lot of Penelope before, but I will say she looked great in this match. I mean, and I'm and it's I'm not saying it's because of Willow. She looked great on her own. Yeah, and Willow is amazing always. Oh yeah, Willow is. Amazing, amazing, a great baby face. Um, I, you know, they finally released her merch uh, with um, AEW, so I'm assuming she's going to be in on ROH. I don't think she's going to be in AEW, so that's why we've been seeing her more because she ROH to, do need a women's division. So I could see her being the face of ROH women's division. Didn't she wrestle uh, Mercedes? Was at, at Death Before in Dallas? Yeah, I was there. Mm -hmm. It was a great match too. That was I'm a glad. Great bitch. I will say this: I don't go to a lot of wrestling shows. I was glad that before I die, I got to see Willow Nightingale do something in a professional, rest, a professional wrestling ring in front of my face because she—that's the real deal. You, if yeah. again, for all, for all you babies out there that, that don't really watch pro wrestling like that, and you want to understand what like genuine foundational pro wrestling is. Go go study what Willow Nightingale's been doing mm -hmm. throughout the last couple years on ROH and Impact and on Mad Darks and on AEW TV as well. She she's got it. For you straight baby face amazingness, that's Willow Nightingale to a T. I'm sorry. That's my PSA. Women business, I'm sorry. And like uh Serena Deep has said, Willow is teachable. Yeah. She's teachable. Yeah. You, she you know, not too. a lot is teachable. She's she says she's definitely teachable. If Word. you know, if you be like Serena said, if you be like, hey, if you do this, work on this, she'll be like, oh, okay, and then we'll improve it and do it. Like, you, you, you know, actually see it, she actually does it, like, sees it, and she's humble, she stands her ground. She's a great wrestler. Willow is she definitely will be the face of ROH. Hum uh, humble, humble's, humble's a great word to describe her, I, I, I think. Mm -hmm. that that, that that she like she she exudes humble but i think she's also a hard worker so at mm -hmm. some point you're you're going to get a, a dynamic performer and again if y'all not it, run that run that match back from from rampage for real that willow nightingale penelope that match made me a believer out of penelope ford and i know it's because she's good but i also know it's because she had a great dance partner and, and, and will's really good at accentuating what makes people look good so uh, i don't know i like that match a lot me too willow is it She's one of those people I say, if you, you don't have to be nasty to people, you don't have to do all types of shit. Just be yourself, enjoy what you do, and work hard. You don't have to 
put people under so you can get uh, like because i know the women division is very very intimidating and you have to fight for a certain spot but willow she waits her turn she applauds others and she works like if i need to improve here i'm gonna go to the rest of the school and improve it if mm -hmm. i need to work on this then i'm gonna work on it i'm not gonna complain about it if i'm frustrated i'm frustrated but i'm gonna still take the truth to myself and i'm gonna go and now she's you know the blessings yeah. coming in for facts Fact. She waited for it. Now she's getting it now. Mm -hmm. And I will say, Ken Lewis was right. She does have an impressive pounce. I've seen it live, but and they also built to it. It was good. I think they 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 kind of tease it, and and but they talked about it, and then when she actually hit the pounce, it, I don't know. I I I, I, I it like, like it hurt. It, it, that, that shit do look like it hurt. It do look like it hurt. But they're they're do when they decided. I think it was after they put her on TV with uh, Jade Cargill. It felt like, I don't know, it feels like they're just starting to ease Willow in and introduce her a little bit more every week. And uh, yeah. I I like seeing that. I, I, I can only hope that it continues on. They're going to have to do something now because we ain't going to see Chris probably until next year. Really? She had surgery. She just had surgery on her uh, yeah. like two weeks ago. So, you know, that's going to take a little time for it to. You're saying next year is in terms of like winter, like early I winter? I like spring. I say, I okay. say. Chris will probably come back spring of 2023, something okay. like that. Because they definitely still invested in her. Right, right. They still invested in Chris because Chris is next up. Mm -hmm. So it gives her time to work on her promos, to work on certain right. things that she said that she always been kind of nervous on. So yeah, it just gives her time to get her mindset together. Like, okay, you next up, obviously. It's time to put up or shut up. You know what facts. I'm saying? Big like facts. I said, like I say, you better run this flat or you're going to go back to the project. So <laughs> come on, Chris. And yeah. I had something else. Oh, yeah. Um, put the women, put the demo up, uh, Graham. I got something to say. Uh-oh. Talk to him. Now, pay attention to Tony Storm and them demo. And you see how they still the lowest because right. the math is not mathing to me. Y'all are on Twitter talking about blase, blase, women's division. That shit is still low, and that's still a problem. It's not it's me, Keeks. I, I, I was watching. Look at that. They are still the lowest. Look at that 106. They are still the lowest. They the lowest on the court. I was sitting on that Damn. couch. I was sitting on that couch waiting for Danielson to beat. Jericho ass, and I saw it's deep in the middle of that ring. And homegirl got up, said, "No, nah, I got you. I'll put you in this fuck." If y'all like fucking whole wrestling, y'all not watch the Serena Deeb, but she been doing that. Y'all been playing yourself for a minute, but uh, it is. Is there anything that a like? Is it just the fans? Is is is, is it really just on the fans to watch, or is there anything Khan or anybody else can do? to kind of accentuate specifically on Dynamite what's going Listen, on with uh, the women. I've been the diehard since 2019 when they was having at least three women's matches on the card. That's a good point. But the thing was, people wasn't watching it. Or you had a nigga like AEW botches. Uh -oh. He was also a problem. Was The only thing that he was doing was taking the botches that the women was doing it and posting it on Twitter and then mm. people started making jokes about them and all of this other stuff so that didn't help either. It does not help. So TNT why are they, oh my god TNT find their phone booth TNT paid attention to the demos. They mm -hmm. have to it's business that's how TV even works when, like even when Tony will either put them first Still low. Put them in the middle. Still low. Put right. them in the main event. Still low. Merch sales. Y'all ain't buying shit. <laughs> it, it is sad because people will talk again, but that's how you know. People be it's lying. Just, it's just tweets. Like niggas just tweeting. I, I, like I said, I, I try to be a straight shooter. I put on the, sh I, but when I put on wrestling, I'm watching wrestling. Like I, I, I can't. Like I don't know if people are changing the channel or what. Like I, it's that's how I can see that. Uh, 
uh, uh, uh, Penelope before Ford is improving because I'm waiting for whatever I want to see and I get to see dope wrestling. Put but uh, put hearts comment up because she because people don't support they don't. That's that's yeah, yeah uh, clearly I th- I think it's clearly it seems that way. And I can do another example like when that PWI 500 came out. Why the highest woman on the card is only fifty? Why is it only fifty? And then the the girl, I don't care if that's whoever your friend. I don't care if that's your friend. I don't care. But she had the audacity to tweet. She basically said, and I got the screenshots. I seen it. I seen it. She, she basically said they are credible because they wrestle with men, intergender. This how I know she capped because. There is nobody from Triple A on there. What well, they do the Triple A mix tag. I'm gonna say that Keeks. I'm gonna say that because I, I remember we're in twenty two years ago when the PWI came out, and I don't remember when they first started adding women, but I remember two years ago because we were just starting to do YouTube, and I was like, "Damn, what, what's?" I was really trying to figure out what was going on so we could talk about it. Those rules aren't new, but I think what you say is key. If if you're Vikingo was he was top ten, right? Yeah. Like it's it, it's not like they're 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 noticing what's going on in AAA, but it's clear. If you can recognize, if if the stats are, we're gonna we're following AAA and we're following women who wrestle men, but you haven't gone that deep to acknowledge the women who are wrestling men in AAA. Something is off, and 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 I know they say we watch all the wrestling. You know, we we, t- we treat it like a sport. I mean, I, me too. As a person that's done a list before, who's done lists all, all, on a regular basis, I understand all facets about what goes on into a PWI 500. Regardless if they think I do or don't, I understand. Mm-hmm. We can talk. We can talk about my pedigree offline, but but it, it it looks weird when you have somebody in in that federation be as high as a seven and then not recognize the other the the women in that federation who are doing stuff that. And and I don't know this the, the the win the loss ratio or whatever, but it looks fishy if there's a number of people saying, "Hey, A B C D E is what, what what's going on?" And it's a lot of black women that do intergender matches, and they barely was on there. But that's a different team. <clears throat> I mean, again, Trisha Dora, Willow Knight. There's a number of yeah. them who you can name easily who are wrestling men on a regular basis. But exactly, but you Karen Bam Bam. Even, sorry, but like I said, a woman said. They are only credible because they wrestle men. Basically trying to, because people was like, where's Bianca? Where is this? And she was like, well, they don't wrestle men. What the fuck does that got to do with anything? They are good. Bianca is yeah. better than the person that they had. In, never mind. But they but they said peep our women's list in a couple months. Mm-hmm. I mean, keep, you, you keep already know. Rainbows and, and, um, keep it rainbows, glitter. and um. But I will, and I'm going to say this. And 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 remember this mm-hmm. when those lists come out. Re, 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 the way we're in the chat and the way we're feeling on the timeline. The last oh yeah, I'm gonna remember. I'm about, oh, Keeks, I'm 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 not talking to you or Hearts. I, I already know y'all y'all ready, y'all ready. I'm when ready I'm, for it to come out. I'm gonna be like, oh okay, so y'all hypocrites, okay? Well, but but because I will say that it's interesting to hear. Like I love support, and I because I because I cause I, I want to do this so people can see that pro wrestling ain't just one way. Mm-hmm. But at a certain point, it can't just be me showing y'all. Like like it has to get bigger yeah. than that, and and, that, and part of that means we have to treat things seriously, whether it's whoever's list that highlights stuff that we love or whether it's seriously critiquing the list that people feel are foundational or the institutions like, and it's not to say that they're not credible, but with times changing, they have to consider how they're putting these lists together because it's more than just whoever they're talking about or talking Mm -hmm. to watching pro wrestling. It's the whole world out there. And it ain't just men. 
Right. There's a lot of women out there who could talk your ass under the table about some lucha, about some some WCW, about some whatever the, whatever you want to talk about. You, if everybody's not in on the conversation, though, things can end up looking a certain way. Whether they want it to be a bias or not, it can end up looking a certain way if you don't have a large range of. I'm saying like this, Kyle, to the the women that they want to be the only woman in the room, y'all are the problem, too. The the women that want to be bro code and all of that stuff, y'all are the problem. Y'all are a major problem. Y'all pick me. But that's enough of that. Uh, My AEW Women Wrestler of the Week, um, I gave it to Tony Storm. Um, Tony Storm is doing a great job as interim of AEW Women's Champion. She's wearing the belt, right? She's She looks the part, and things are starting to pick up even more. I do want to say, TK, can you please get Nala Rose from babysitting that lady? Because that lady is not improving over there. Um, uh, uh, she know who her name is. Uh, Marina? The, Marina not, something? Yeah, Marina. She's not improving. She's getting worse. I don't... So get Nala Rose from babysitting duties and put her back on TV, we need a real heel back on TV for the women's division because she's every time I see her on dark, it's something. I'm like, you she's know, not getting better. She I, is not getting better. Getting out of the rose from babysitting that lady. It's my, when I tell you, Keeks, like just the other day, I was having a conversation about where's not because I was like, I've not seen Nyla Rose on TV, like the AW. She been Dynamite. babysitting that lady on when, dark, like helping when, her. When I but went to cage match, she been doing tag matches on dark with Marina for like August and September. They trying to get her better. They they want her to be the next Ronda Rousey, but she sucks. Like she's, I'm trying to be positive about women's business, but she's not getting better. Like she just got a promo, her. right? Huh? She just cut a promo. I saw a video with her and Vicky or something like that. She cut a promo, but she's not getting better in the ring. Like she's, right. and you, you know that that stuff that y'all was calling Jay Green, not y'all, but y'all know what I mean. I'm from Texas. I say y'all. Right. Y'all was calling Jay Green. Mm-hmm. That's who y'all need to be calling Green right there, mm-hmm. cause she's not getting better at all. Niggas, like she keeps getting worse. N- niggas is not watching Dark Elevation to see Shorty be bad though. That's a, a, but, which is a problem. I paying attention. I'm like, she is. Y'all trying to blame? They were trying to blame Thunder Rosa and shit. I'm like, no, that's the, Thunder Rosa got irritated because she's not getting better. It's it's it. Thunder Rosa probably felt like Bret Hart felt sometimes going to she WCW. Knew. Be like, yo, I'm I, I I can wrestle circle around these niggas. Why am I wrestling with them? I'm telling. Look, Thunder. I said it before when um when when my girl was on the show with me. I said it before. Thunder Rosa is like, all right, look, this girl ain't trying to get better. I don't have time to be teaching certain people. Thunder right. Rosa won't can only teach people that are teachable. But if you if she try to show you something, and you still want to do y'all. She done with it. That's right. how Thunder Rosa is. I don't got time for this. I ain't got the patience. All right. Either oh, you're going to go to this wrestling school and get better, or right. I don't want to fight this girl because she's not <laughs> trying to get it. She not she don't get it. Because for, for this seven minutes on TV, this is not your wrestling class. Damn. That's it. That's that's Damn. all Thunder Rosa is about. That's all I she's see, about. I don't I have can time see it. to teach nobody. I can see it. That makes sense. That makes sense. That's that's all Thunder Rosa is. I don't have time to teach nobody. If she needed work on this, why was she not at practice? Why did she not show up to this? Why she not in here with me and Serena and uh the uh AEW women coach? If you're trying to get better, you gotta show that you want to be better. But y'all worried about your hair. Y'all worried about taking Instagram pictures. Y'all worried about this. Y'all worried about that. Y'all not practicing. Y'all not doing nothing. I don't have I shouldn't be teaching nobody. I am the champion. That's basically what she is. She that's basically what she's on. Maybe. I ain't got time for this shit. I'm oh, I don't got time for this. Speaking of wrestling schools. <laughs> If see, because I, I'm as I as I as I bring these ideas that I have in my head out loud, and people are like, "No, nah, you old oh, and stupid." I'd be like, "All right, whatever." Maybe instead of Danielson and Deeb being the AAA mix tag champions, they just open up a wrestling school. Teach you don't need to do a wrestling school. Teach these men. Teach these women. Teach anybody who wants to wrestle because. 
I saw the video. Jay Cargill would go in there and wrestle with him in the ring, or at least take instruction mm-hmm. from him in the ring to try and get better her craft. Like he's wrestled in WWE, he's wrestled in R. He's been to a number of premier places, and not a lot of places that these new cats look up to. He's been at the top of that mountain. He' about to be at the top of that mountain again. Has a wrestling school. Oh, Dustin Rhodes. People are Brian, trying- Brian Danielson. And Serena Deeb open a re- double D wrestling school. Teach these youngins that real rap before y'all are off this earth, so y'all know that at, at, it's a couple of them that still can pass the knowledge along. But I can say, and I don't care for him sometimes. But even Booker T wrestling school is legit. Shouts out to reality. He's right? had he has some great students. The, the, the turnover, the turnover rate is really. They got some real strong competitors. Yeah. Roxy, Roxy is in, in NXT doing a thing right now Roxy among other people. The, the gatekeeper of Texas. You got a mysterious Q. Like it's great <laughs> indie stars that came from training from Brooker T. Like Brooker T got a good uh, uh, school. I'm telling you, I've been. I say it all the time. They don't do house shows, so some of them new cats they got it. They have to practice wrestling at some point. They well, they don't do house shows because most of them do indie shit. Even Liv Morgan got to go wrestle with Riddle before she wrestles Shayna Baszler. Like at some point, somebody one of these new cats got to take pointers from somebody before they get on TV or YouTube mm-hmm. or whatever. Put your reps up. But then at the same time, some of them have an ego that they don't want to do no indie stuff either. I ain't going to say no names, but they know who they are. And that's a problem. That's a yeah. huge problem. No, you're right about that. It's, I ain't going to say no names, but they know who they are. They need to be in somebody indie. They need to do something. Damn. Because, you know, uh, uh, relying on Wednesday and, uh, and Saturday and uh, Friday is not going to get it. You need to be in somebody in this school or you need to be in somebody booth. Somebody Penelope Ford was in somebody booth. Obviously, you can see it. You can tell you can tell. I and I think on any on any federate, you can tell when somebody's really working for them, when somebody's just coasting. Mm-hmm. You can tell what I ain't gotta say no names, you can see it. You can see it, you can see it. like if you really pay attention, if you're not a promo person like me. And you really just pay attention to the in-ring stuff. You can tell who's working and who not. You know what's funny? Oh, my God. Because you can tell who watches WWE and gets hype off promos. Mm-hmm. It's niggas that be so hype off. They be so hype, so hype off of Edge. Edge will cut. Edge will have an amazing TV segment. And then you got to watch the match. And you're like... No, he'll win the match. It's like, what, the, what What was the point of that 20 minute segment I just saw? Bro, I was at WrestleMania when he had the match with AJ Styles, and I sat there and I seen AJ Styles carry this man for 20 minutes. Edge is a name. Just for him to win off a fucking spear. Edge is a name. I, but I, when I, Keeks, and, I, and this ain't the WWE show, but when. When Peacock first happened, and whatever that pay per view, whatever that PLE was, Edge's face was prominent on that PLE. I said, "Oh, they just need Edge for the shows, and he he'll wrestle the shows. He'll go to Raw. He'll do a segment, maybe have a match, but he's there for those shows. He ain't like Christian. He's really not like he Christian. never. Yeah, I say it all the time. If you go back and look at the tag matches with Edge and Christian." <laughs> it's a reason why Christian had most of the ring time. He was a worker. He is a worker. He's a worker. I was like, when Christian went solo, cut the hair, him that that him and Randy Orton that whole. Oof, I love that. I was a SmackDown guy. I was mm-hmm. watching that every week. That shit was. A, that's when I really started. I I, I understood. I knew Edge because I saw the brood. I didn't get into all that shit. I wasn't into all the Hardy shit. Like whatever, whatever, whatever. When when I got I to see. Wrong. Christian solo after all that. I like that. I like that. I, 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 oh my God. I was going to say, I, I watched a couple of TNA shows because mm-hmm. he was down there doing his damn thing as a solo guy. A shout to Christian. Shout out to Christian. But um, yeah, so 
Um, y'all gotta show up for these ladies, man. No matter if it, no ma no matter if you don't like it or if it's not, because the the vibe that I get, and it's not even the fellas. It's some of the ladies that's supposed to be for women's wrestling. The vibe right. that y'all be giving me is. If they are not in WWE, they don't matter. And that's not fair because some of these ladies in AEW, they are talented. Some of them, they just need a little bit of work. Word. And some of them, they just probably, they, like, I've had a personal conversation with one. And, like, she told me, she was just like, when you see all the time either content creators or uh, the people on the timeline, all you see is negativity. Negativity. So it kind of just be like, What's the point of working if folks don't talk shit about us anyway? Uh, that's a good point. I hate that's that. Why, that's the mindset they have in there. They just like, what? what's the point if they're going to talk shit about us anyway? What's the and point the, if our demo's going to always be low? Like, it's that, no point. I tried to, I, 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 a while so ago. That's why I'm doing this women business because I'm trying. So you I'm, need to. I'm I, I, no, I, I applaud it because a while ago, when I was really, when I was really day to day, like, all right, what's the content that's going up today and how are people reacting? You it's it's clear it, TMZ's popping. Why? Because they show negativity and people react to it. Like people are quick to spend the day talking about shit they hate. Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth died. Niggas n niggas you didn't know have Photoshop came out there. She was dunking on her with, with venom and, and, and all the shit was going on. They probably put the JR vocals and everything, but they won't spend time. To hype up Biggie's Our Heroes Rock or Willow Nightingale having a show on like I, I I see it and I think it's because it's easier to hate yeah than it is to show love yes. but the, the, it's it's just like it's the same shit they say with voting oh if you don't vote don't vote you ain't got a voice if you just spend your time watching Raw watching Rampage watching Dynamite whatever. And the that two hours you spend is more time with hate than like actually at least appreciating what the fuck you wanna wanna watch. You're wilding out. First of all, they it's let Lucy be whack for years, and then, but she's right. But 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 what I will say is this, and this is what because I at Jersey till I die. I I will stand for live being in this position. Why? At a certain at a certain point, just like when Sting Don't was that, he was that super green, painted up baby face. He had, he had to get in that ring and wrestle with Ric Flair. He had to get in that ring and do his reps. And at a certain point, because Sting wasn't the world champion early. Mm -mm. It took some time. He had to work towards that. And, I, and maybe people think Liv got it too early, but Liv been there for a minute. The tat on the neck say 2017. Like, it's been a minute since she's been in NXT and been through all this. This is her first title reign. She could suck. I may not like some of the promos. I may not like the way they were doing her. But... Like Cody Rhodes. I'm sorry. They need, they need a promo school over there. I, I think... I don't know if there's somebody there that's really on that Dusty Rhodes tip. It sounded like when Dusty Rhodes had his promo school, he turned out a lot of really good promos. Mm -hmm. But regardless, like if this is the, if, if this is the way, if, if AEW is set up where you got to be Stokely and you got to have a bunch of goons behind you to make some of your future heels, your future uh, TNT champions or what have you, future AEW tag team champion, heel teams, whatever you want to be. At some point they got to start out as being, that 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 goofy menace who's going to go out there and do a shitty job and you're going to hate them but at a certain point maybe they'll get their scissor me daddy or they'll get their yeah. whatever the case may be to maybe out and if it don't work it don't work but they're not signing people in the hopes that they don't work they hope everybody works yeah and it's obvious that tony khan does listen to his fans but if nobody's making no noise for somebody the only people that people was making noise were because of the agenda i started the Jade versus Chris. Eric, do hey. you Google? Because y'all know I started that shit first. I pushed Keeks. it. Keeks. So. I, I, I caught shit <laughs> last year. You talk about lists at the top of the show. When, when, when we put... Jay, they was mad that we had Jade Cargill as high as she was. 
I was in New York seeing the seeing the billboards and seeing the the, the fucking posters in in in, in the like, subway. Why y'all got that green girl on? Cause y'all got vision. Y'all got vision. I did. It was too. Jade. It was Kenny. It was like three or four faces always on them posters, and Jade was right there. Oh it was God. a given. It was a given. It's not my fault. Again, don't hate yeah. to play hate the game. I'm just watching TV. Yeah, and um, they also also I want to add to women business. They are um, they did confirm that the AEW Women's Division is getting their own shows to kind of help this situation. So just be on the lookout for that. I don't um, Tony Khan talked about it on one of those uh, media that um that they are working on a, a AEW Women's Division show. That's so true. that way it could catch more eyes. Especially for the people, women that are um, you know, supporters of women's wrestling, so that should help. I'm I'm hoping it should help, but it it won't matter if y'all don't show up for them. Like Thanks. women can they the the women's division in WWE, AEW, Impact, they all can simultaneously be successful. It doesn't have to be just WWE women's division. It can be all of them. We got we got to get that lady curse from the uh, how wrestling views women. Because and her spirit is still alive, obviously. It's still alive, and we're trying to break it. We're trying to break that, that curse. You know what I'm saying? So It'd be, it be more women's women's storylines that I like than men's. There you go. At least on some of the bigger shows. But, but again, I think it's, it's a matter of... What are you watching pro wrestling for? And, and hopefully... And, and, and I don't want to... I respect anybody's urges. So if, if you're watching pro and I'm be frank, if you watching pro wrestling, like, yo, she look good. I respect that. Also make sure you're watching the match. Say, yo, that headlock was nice. Yeah. Yo, that, 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 that's that, that suplex. She did. Yo, she really snapped that month. Like you, you just like all lead with keeks. Public enemies, black wrestling, black any any of these outlets, we're only as real as y'all make us. Yes. As much it, it, I tell you this, five years strong. This as long as I'm on this earth, when Thursday happens, I'm be on I'm be on YouTube. It, it it's it's just something with me. And I'll continue to be there, but I can only be on YouTube so long, especially if nobody said, because I can't get off of YouTube if y'all ain't saying, hey, check out my man. He on YouTube every Thursday. Check out Keeks. She be on, on, on the Public Enemies YouTube Mondays or Tuesdays depending on if it's live or not. Like, it's it, at a certain point, we got to just, y'all make them Panda Dunks hot. Y'all made Ice Spice hot. Y'all make any of that shit hot. Talk, cow. Make Willow Nightingale hot. Yes. Make Kiara Hogan hot. Make Tony Storm hot. We could do it. Yes. Y'all made uh, what? What was? What's the chick? They don't even put on NXT no more. The one that she had, she 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 was gonna make her 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 her, her oh, finishing you move. About, you talking about uh uh Maga the Stallion? Yeah, she was gonna make her move something with cakes, and then she had the Maga raps, and mm -hmm. then you don't see her no more. Support last legend. This, this yes, please. Like y'all don't even y'all don't come through for Lash Legend like y'all need to, man. I don't and, like it. I don't even watch NXT, but I don't like what I be seeing. And and I don't and I don't want to be mean. And I I I love Bianca Belair. Come for these other women like y'all come for Bianca Belair. If if one hundred is your favorite pro wrestler, you better make a one hundred shirt. You better have a one hundred post. Like you, you got the the at a certain point. Look, they made a Black Panther two because niggas went to go out see Black Panther one. Y'all exactly. make it so they they make it so they can't avoid what's going on. Megaman. Mega Minaj is crazy. Yes, that's we we gotta support the women, not just in WWE, not in just AEW. Luchadora should be all up and down the PWI 500 for that if that's where they're going by. You know what I'm saying? We got to pull through for the women. Word. Now, let's move on. Cal, please state your wrestler of the week. Oh, oh, you mean oh, upcoming seven-time world champion, upcoming AW world Ooh. champion, 
the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. I mean, look, his look, <laughs> look at that, look at that goat, look at that goat. His foot, don't I, I will say this his foot, I'm concerned. I don't know if I've heard anything since that match. MJF, I'm concerned. He might take the belt. If I could get Danielson with the title, I may have I may have to go on eBay and find me a yes shirt. Cause I oh my oh my put a title in his hand right now. Oh my god. Graham, can you play can you play the Mr. Clark video real quick? Cause yeah. Play it. You think you can control these young niggas? <laughs> and look, look. I'm an old ass man. I'm an old ass wrestling fan. <laughs> I'm an old ass black wrestling fan. It's only been so many days in my life as an old ass she black wrestler. She's man. not signed with AEW. You can't say that. Yeah, she wild. I've only got to see what I want ever so often. God damn it. I hate this man. And I was upset when Ultimate Warrior beat this man. And I will sit there all night on a Sunday night. I will never get what I want. This Wednesday night, Brian Danielson. You got what you want Wednesday when he beat my. He need he need to lead that month. He need he need to leave leave Arthur Ashe with the title. Fuck MJ. MGF better cash in. He be like, and then put that motherfucking Tony little Khan, bell lock. Listening, crank I know that. You shit. Listening, Tony Khan. I know you listening to the show on your burner. May you please give Cal what he wants, please. Yeah, Tony. Khan. Tony but not G one. You don't have to make him have a title up until G one. You ain't got to do that. No, to think of Tony, Tony, Tony. All right, if you watch it, Tony. Did you about to say think of the children? No, I was, I was going to say something else. I I was going to go deep with it, but I can't. Think of the children. I, I can't. I can't go too deep with how much I, I I've been studying Tony Khan, but Tony. Think of how much better that AEW World Championship going to look being paraded around different blocks at the G1. Come on, man. Come on. With the GOAT. With the GOAT. Come on. Oh, my God. Come my on. My wrestler of the week. Actually, wrestlers. Um, they are tag team. My wrestlers of the week, because this is Hispanic Heritage Month, is the Lucha Brothers. Yes. Sad. They put on a banger. That man Pitts is saying, yeah, look at them. And they are at their store. By the way, if you're in Cali, make sure you go to uh, Republic of Lucha. They have some great stuff. They should be expensive, too. You but been there? I haven't been, but I heard they be, uh, they're getting another store out here in Texas, but I don't know what part. And then I also heard that they probably opening one more in Florida, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's smart. Republic Pitt, of Lucha? Listen. I, like I say, Lucha Brothers are wrestling for fun at this point. Them niggas, they got the cheddar. Okay, they are entrepreneurs. Okay, they got the cheddar. Can, can I? I could buy stuff online. Yeah, you can buy it online. Oh, oh it's a wrap. Oh, it's a... Like they sell their masks. Like they sell masks. They got jackets, custom jackets. That shit hot old. I ain't gonna even yeah, lie to you. Yeah, the the mass is definitely the, these shirts yes, ain't bad. Turned out the shirts ain't bad. It's real, it's it's real shit. It ain't oh, that yeah, fake nah, shit. This they, they, they selling that real shit. They got a wallet that's almost four hundred dollars. That one, they that's that real shit over there. That shit expensive, yeah. but niggas is buying. They bank. Yo, they these masks are. I'm sorry, these masks. They got a they got a lot of masks. So they got at least three. They got a little Parker Jew. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, that shit the real shit over there. And then that autograph. The, um, the Lucha Brothers the jackets, them the ones that be selling out all the time. That shit high as fuck too. I need a shirt. Because I want shirt. one. I'm gonna get one one of these days. I'll wait. I'm gonna wait on like shirt. my income tax or something. <laughs> they respect. charging that shit like it's uh Gucci. But I respect it though. Uh hey, hey, West Side Gun. They they buying it. Folks is buying it though. Y'all want me to tell them to make your who? Stan? We're gonna get Stan to be look. Um soon. 
We'll talk to Stan soon. I don't know if he's going to be a Black Rats of the Week, but soon. I miss Stan. He twists nigga arms, starts swinging it, singing it. I know Stan. Soon. I'm sorry. I don't want to derail the show. Those shit were probably better than. Yeah, they are. That shit, the real shit over there. I'm nah, going to visit the store one of these days. I want to visit the store. Like, I don't even right. want to buy one. I just want to visit it. It got a lot of um, artifacts. Uh, it's just, it's a bunch of history there. And I think they uh, probably one of the only ones they got something up uh, El Santos. Um, that's yeah. Where, they're not, like, they're not selling it, but it's like, a collection or something like Stuff that. Stuff that yeah, it, I would look going through the products that they, it's a lot of it sold out, but they had a lot of art and shit. It's a lot of uh yeah. like frame photos. So if you go to republicoflucha.com, they got a and just hit products. They got a lot of stuff on wallets and everything. Yeah. And then they uh started doing their own shows too. Um they have their own indie shows and they be booking black folks. Yeah. They be booking black folks. I'm telling open. you, black folk. Y'all better, you better be like Willie Mac. Don't, don't, don't say no to that. Facts. Willie Mac smart. They, they like black people down there, especially in the ring. So y'all been, they trying to, Dante going to be down there soon. Probably swear too. They mo- yeah. Be nice, Cal. Did say nothing. <laughs> he probably will be down there. You right. No, you right. <laughs> you right. You right. All right, we gonna get to the goofy of the week. Put the poll up, Graham. I did the poll <laughs> on Twitter, and Damn. the fans have decided on the goofy of the week. Put it up there, Graham, so they can see see the tally. It, it ain't who you wanted it to be. I know that much. Because <laughs> she was she was on on Twitter campaigning. I was vote, campaigning. vote for this man so I can yell at Cal. Nope, and, and only one person did. Okay, we had <laughs> Danielson for winning. It was only 9%. Y'all are haters. I hate y'all. Hey. FTR for being rats. Um, what? If y'all want to know why I said that, because FTR has been feeding dirt sheets shit for the past two weeks. It's been them. Number three was the dirt sheets because of that shit with Malachi Black. That was not cool. If he That's told y'all not to if he told y'all not to just you know air that shit out, why would y'all air that shit out? Dirt right. sheets was up there. Then you got Disco Inferno lame ass. He been getting on my nerves, so that's why I put him on there. What he do? I I, I I am not familiar with what Disco Inferno did. Disco Inferno just be tweeting shit and then starting like he had a whole argument with Taz about weight. And then he uh fucking Eddie Kinks that had to cuss him out. Like Disco Inferno just annoying. So everybody picked Disco Inferno because he fucking annoying. He think that he was he that nigga or something like that. Dancing ass nigga. Goofy <laughs> ass. Look at him. Fake ass soprano. Jesus. <laughs> Phony soprano. Get out of here. Get out of here. So congrats to Disco Inferno. You are the goofy of the week because you goofy as hell. Goofy. Goofy That's what I've heard time. anyway. He's on a podcast too, though, right? Yeah, they. Him and Conan. Something like that. Mm, Conan I don't listen. Conan, uh, Conan talks too much. He everybody always knows, has though. Everybody, everybody was not supposed to know that Kenny Omega is suspended up until November. I'm pretty sure TK was just like, "Nigga, ain't no, I did not tell you to say that. Why would you just no, say that? Now everybody November? knows." November. Yeah. Them and the young bus. So not everybody know because fucking Conan says something. November is crazy. Yeah. CM Punk too? No, we haven't. We don't know. We don't know. We don't know if CM Punk they are gone. They're not trying to. That nigga, you know, he quick to. I'm gonna sue you. I'm gonna sue you for everything you have. So they he just tweet. Like, well, the one thing I did see, I will say, the one thing I did see was that uh. They were talking about everybody. They specifically said, oh, CM Punk was talking to his legal team. I said, oh, With whatever dirt she wrote, I said, oh, it's serious. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. It was serious when TNT had to step in. They said HR, right? Yeah, TNT yeah. stepped in because they heard a lawsuit. They was like, oh, no, nah, we, all right, we about to investigate this because nobody ain't who. He's lawsuit not on tweeted. who? He's not posted. 
His last post was in June. Yeah, that's like TNT was TNT had to step in there. They was like, all right, we about to investigate because this is talking about a lawsuit. CM Punk not going. Hmm. Damn. And I think because if they was to fire him, CM Punk would draw that fucking lawsuit. That's mm. so they wanna... stuck. So it's just like okay, let's just. But what looks bet like? You don't think it looked like? All right, should Tony Khan put his foot down and be like, "Yo, you gotta go"? That don't look weird. I mean, he in a tough spot. He in a tough spot. It's like his contract is not up until like another two or three years. I can't just fire him. He's gonna end up, you know, suing us because he is injured. You can't fire him while he's injured. That's another thing. That's what fucked it up. No, the, yeah, the injury that's fucked it up. up. He's injured. So it's just like, I can't fire him while he's injured because then he really going to sue me. I don't think the Bucks going to I think the thing no, is, I think the thing is, I, I think just like Keeks laid out, I think the, the whole situation was, with, and this, this is, again, like I said earlier, they didn't need CM Punk, and this is clear. Jericho was enough star for them, and he did what he needed to do when AEW first started. When you get to someone, a, a star, two weeks in a row without him, a star, the caliber of CM Punk, it comes with clauses and contracts and talking to legal if something happens and, and trying to figure out extra strategies. Like if this was, if this was, if it was just a steal. He would have been out the next day, mm-hmm. but they, they got to figure because, like, you, you got to figure out if they're not firing him, they have to figure out the best way to calm the fire. Because, because at a certain point, people are going to ask, "Well, what the fuck is happening to him? Oh, he's still here. Why? They got to have a good reason. They got to have a good understanding, even if it's just injuries plus." The legal bonding, because that was Rey Mysterio in the WWE a while ago. He was yeah. injured, and they kept delaying it because they didn't want to let him go. So he was on contract. It may have been another year. I don't remember the time frame, but I he forgot was there too. But yeah, way too long than it needed to be because he was. They wanted to release him, but he was injured, so they couldn't. Yeah. So that, that that it was that legal stuff can hurt, but if Punk was the first one to swing on. An EVP that that may supersede anything else that's going on, but yeah. I, I I can kind of, if, if the issue is contracts and legalities with 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 people being injured under that shit, I can understand it. But he got he, injured in the match. It wasn't because of the fight. But the thing is, is like that's so it's shit. The, it's the it's looking more like he swung first. You think he did it on a purpose because he was injured? Probably so. He felt he could get that off because he was injured and, and had a black. A bat. I'm not saying that's what it is, but like a conspiracy theory could be. Well, I'm fucked up. If uh, I swing, I could just say, "Oh, my bicep," and get six months. I, I don't know how deep into the legal game he is, but there's people that have that mindset. Yeah, and he looked like he won them, and it's crazy because. Now that I've known that Adam Page was on some, I don't give a fuck who he is. I don't have to apologize to that man. That made me like him even more because I felt that. Like, who the fuck is he supposed to be? I, that ain't my daddy. I don't care. At a certain point. I'm look, a man. Like, I don't have look, to apologize to him. I mean, what I, I said what I said. He's going to have to get over it. I've been around for a bit. You better, if, if some 14-year-old right now was like, look, Fuck black wrestling. Fuck hell. I'm I'm the one. My view and, and they was on point. I got I got as you gotta take that. You can't always be the person on top of the mountain and you're you gotta know that at some point someone's gonna be gunning for you and they're not gonna care that you sat crisscross applesauce and you cut a pipe bomb promo yeah. or you put the title in the freezer or you would you was this god in MG, in, in, in ROH to the point where they bringing out your old theme music and, and referencing these old storylines. Like I've lived through it because the kids that are f- fucking rapping right now, they don't care about nothing that I grew up on. 
y'all old niggas and y'all bullshit rap. Like you, at a certain point, you got to go to the side. Maybe this is Punk realizing that he got to sit down. What it is is, I feel like he probably thought, "I'm joining this company. They're gonna really need me." And, but in actuality. It's not just you. They are fans of Kenny. They are fans of Adam Page. They are fans of Darby Allen. It's not just you. They was doing fine without you. Great. And obviously they are still doing fine without you. So he, a man he, like CM Punk, I'm pretty sure it injures his ego. It fucks them up. Like, damn, okay. I thought if I came back, I would be the one or they're going to rely on me or I'm going to be no it's a team it's a team effort we have a lot of people back there we got jericho back there we got christian back there we got danielson back there we got moxley back there like we fucking matt hardy we got you know what i'm saying it's different people that contribute to yeah. the new newer generation and then on top of that you wrestling against wrestlers that are actually good and then you're you know what i'm saying he understand he sees that he knew no he knows he he, he knows, knows that. and it fucks him up like damn when he had that match, with, he had that match with Dax Harwood, and 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 and, and when I, when I saw that, I think you yo this man's good, and 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 I'm old, cause this man is good, and I can go with him, but I can't wrestle next week. <laughs> I can't wrestle tomorrow. That man botched the buckshot twice. It's it's. One of these days, Keeks, you should have a conversation about a, like a real report card on, on, on the, the year of punk. Cause the it, man that, beat Penta. Penta carried him. Penta carried the fuck out that man. Carried the fuck out of CM Punk. I, I didn't I didn't want I felt bad because I was like, I do not want to watch this match. But Pen, Penta made that man look like he could still wrestle. He carried the hell like y'all. If y'all go back and watch Penta versus CM Punk, just pay attention to Penta. This is probably one of the safe, like they say, it was one of the safest workers there. Just watch Penta. Penta had to make sure he fell this way, or he had to make sure he did it this way. Like he been he well, and the I, fuck at this man. And, and the thing is, legs. no, I, <laughs> <laughs> but, but I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say this though, Keeks, because I know the thing is, is people will call me a hater, and I'm gonna say this. Even Lee did too. Everybody carry punk. I'm sorry. It's Everybody you can't did. you can't tell me that you watch Penta and Punk and you're like yo Penta still or Punk still got it. You can't. It's no way. You can't. You can't look at that match and be like, I don't want to say this isn't the same CM Punk, but you can tell either he needed more time or. Pro wrestling, I was gonna say pro wrestling has really gotten advanced, and he, but he, he's been in at home acting MMA. He ain't been actively pro wrestling for a minute. In a year, it's not in a year at the level that your Kennys and your Bucks and your Pentas and your Dwayne, Mar everybody. At a certain point, they're wrestling circles around this man. I can see it in the ring, but when I say it. I'm a hater. So I shut the fuck up and I waited for this. I waited to I waited for a situation where this man is stuffing muffin in his mouth and just be oh I work with fucking children. Like like yes, punk, I understand it. I get it. But what you're realizing is a lot different than what you're trying to sell mm -hmm. in terms of being a pro wrestler. In AEW where these cat, where Darby Allen is literally doing coffin drops until he drops into a coffin, like the game is, the game is that was a bar. The game is past what? you. The game is and and it's no disrespect because he's got the legacy. He's, he's already goaded, but you can't you can't build on it if you can't build on it. It just is what it is. Y'all want Slay showing up. <laughs> He on Jefferson ass this time. He's on Jefferson ass. Jefferson Talk to him. Talk to him. They can't handle him. He can't slay. We, slay. I got two interceptions on Jefferson. Eagles is back. Okay. Okay. 
Oh my God! Please don't. Let's see if we can get them interception on the quality quarter. Oh, oh no! Oh, it's still it's still seven minutes in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they. She, she basically saying they won the game, so she ain't got to watch it no more. She. You know. Wait, they got. See, the thing is, the Eagles got seventeen points in the second half in the second quarter, but they ain't scored since. Nobody scored since. It's been the same score since halftime. She swear they're going to the Super Bowl. Whatever. Hey, they get that first week win. I I watch all the Philly stations. They gonna if they win tonight, it's gonna be a problem tomorrow. I already know it. I already know it. Before we close out the show, cause you know me and Calon, we ain't no time limit, so I don't even care about the time. My fault. I just want to say though, I can I knew that that man was gonna be a menace the moment that he kind of aired out that Danielson was coming to AEW. Like, why would you do something like that? You remember he did that shit? It he was like a week before or something. Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. I'm like, all right. He trying to take that. He trying to take that pop moment. All right. I see how he's moving. He was trying so to be I was, cool. I was like, okay, some things don't change. He, all right. Well, I, I, what, what from after? After all the, I'm glad we were able to talk and got a little bit of out because I, I was doing research and it seems like. From what I was listening to, because I, I heard like a 30 minute Melton Alvarez conversation where they were kind of trying to explain how they didn't do shit, but also they kind of let a couple things let, let a couple things go. And I forgot that. And I don't know how real this is, but if Tony from what I understand, if Tony Khan wanted, if he could have, he would have started with CM Punk. It sounds like CM Punk was what was I don't want to say like he's not a pill, he's like a foundation. And I think that's kind of why that MJF angle was what it was because they were so quick to. I didn't watch a lot of ROH, mm -hmm. so when when I sat, oh, why is this song playing? Why is he wearing this? Why did he say that? There's a whole storyline going on. I think see it, what CM Punk is is as a wrestler is in the DNA of what AEW is, but it don't start or end with him. It yeah. started before CM Punk. And it ends after what's going on right now. Like he he's an important part, but he's not the only part. And that's why Chris Jericho, being who he was, already wrestling Kenny Omega, already being an indie darling, already having a animosity with the like he was a perfect he coming up there. If you couldn't start with CM Punk, you start with Chris Jericho. He he was the per and I think Chris Jericho kind of worked better. I never I, did. Again, when, when th that night when everybody was hyped for him being in the United Center and the, 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 the ice cream bars, I understood it and I let people have their moment. But the, the question was, then because he's got to wrestle, he's got to talk, he's got to keep up with these people. And as you can see, even if everything we saw isn't true, where there's smoke, there's fire. He has some type of beef with somebody. These other people, at the very least, felt the type of way about what he was saying to the point where there was an altercation to the point we don't see nobody. Something happened. Something mm -hmm. went down, and I don't think you can escape that without him. I don't, did they need to have these conversations about, oh, the what's going on back Three weeks before this happened, oh, we got to have a sit down with the backstage and Kenny Omega got to talk. Like, and, and people being weird. How much of this was about CM Punk? Listen, it's a Jericho told Tony Khan probably like four times. He said, Are you sure? Mm. And also pay attention why Jericho never really was around him in AEW or had any type of segments with him. Only True. when they did commentating together, but even that was awkward because True. Jericho probably knew, hey, are you sure you want him here? Because right. Right. I've worked with that man. I know what he's like. Christian, too. Matt Hardy, he, Matt Hardy chose the side. That was obvious. Now, now I think that I, I, will, I would not. Tony Khan was probably like, yo, I got this. Because he was, he was stuck to that man he, like glue. Yeah, like I believe that he has changed. He wants the redemption. He wants to show that he's this just for, you know, he saw who he truly was, what the OGs was trying to tell him. 
Sometimes it takes that. You know, you got to learn the hard time. way. Right. And, and, he, and, and Vince probably was like, no, Trips probably sent Tony that text. I told you. I told you. You see. <laughs> How I you feeling? You. <laughs> They probably had a. It probably wasn't long. He, Tony was like, "Yeah, I get it now." I get it. What? But how did y'all handle this? <laughs> he probably had one question about some legal paperwork shit, and then yeah. they text ever since. Not, not, not since later. Tony are not text, they, You can tell that there is some communication going on. I, I, they communicating. I, I don't like growing up. The animosity, at least the way it seemed between Vince and Ted Turner, was real. I yeah, think Triple H not being a uh, McMahon bloodline and Tony mm-hmm. Khan kind of being, uh, I mean, I, he probably has a couple of favorite Triple H matches. I think they, they probably have a really interesting relate, probably more interesting than people realize, but because yeah. they've been in too many places at one time together, but they also know like motherfucker, you put on how many shows during Labor Day? You know this, um, this. You know this. My weekend, bitch. A whole NXT worlds collide, ho. Like, there's probably you some shit going on. My shit was a t-shirt company, ho. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the pay per view, Tony Khan like, fuck you, bitch. And, right. and Triple A's like, ha, ha, ha. yeah, is, yeah. Is that what we do in bed? I'm pretty sure he. <laughs> TK, I told you. Told you not to hire him. Told you. you I out. told oh. you. And, and that's Phil. That's what we dealt with. That's spilling. Been there. Chris Jericho probably like. Try to tell you. Remember, you remember I tried to tell you. I told you four times. Don't it was a, it was a Tuesday afternoon. I showed you the tweet. Because yeah. I remember the story that Jericho said that CM Punk had a problem with his promo for uh that money in the bank when he said, Look at me when I'm talking to you, boy. That's one of my <laughs> promos that Jericho has done. When, he had to be, when Jericho had to let it be known who he was. Right, right. And he said that CM Punk had a problem with that promo. Of course. CM, but, but see, again, CM Punk, a number of them, the students of Bret Hart. I, it should be is getting real. Student? Huh? But is he a I, student? I think... I think CM Punk will let you know that CM, that he was a Bret Hart student now. If you look a lot of, at a lot, at, I ain't see it then. It, not that, but if you look at a lot of those matches now, it's a lot of Bret Hart. It's a lot of that era in there. But you gotta look at who he's dancing with. But either way, that's the thing you say now because AEW's a lot of Bret Hart guys. I feel like Tony Khan's a Bret Hart guy. I fe- mm-hmm. I feel like they probably felt the way when Bret Hart was in the crowd at Clash the Castle. But, well, that's because Brett's still in that Legends contract. Yeah, you know, no, no. Trust me, Brett. Mm-hmm. I know Brett. No, he he yeah. smoked him. He smoked him a L. So let me go down to Cardiff. Yeah. Get my little face on. Get back in the whip. Go 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 to go to uh the fuck Nando's. Where the fuck they get the chicken at out there? I don't know. See Nan- punk fans. I'm praying for y'all though, because a lot of y'all, a lot of them was hurt. They was hurt by it. Some of them was disappointed. And then some of them was trying to find excuses. So I'm like, you cannot, you can't find no excuse to that shit. Cause this is the second time, bro. You should have known it was the second happen. fucking time. Like, right was on the wall. It was on the wall. Sorry, he's just one of those that he just gotta he gotta heal. He gotta figure out what's really wrong with him. And he hasn't obviously let go of that anger that he had against Vince. Even though Vince is getting his karma, it's still not, I guess, right. it's still not pleasing enough to him. So he's still holding on to it. So he, he better not have fucked up his, uh, what this, this situation was, though, because they loved him over there. Yeah. He could have been eating fat. You know what I'm saying? Like he could have been living out there for a minute. Yeah. Let's see. So, we'll you, see. so all of this, uh, what I've been seeing, talking about his run, at what run? He won every single match since he's been there against his the run. Pops- Talent over there. His run is funny. Anyway, nigga, you beat Pinsa. Like I don't want to hear nothing about. Yeah, yeah. Nothing. you put you put on great matches with great wrestlers. Like it's 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 it's, it's it wasn't like what he was doing in WWE at all. But right, right. So, 
but that's enough from oily with keeks i love always having cow on here um cow had the flicks because his wrestler won and i'm not giving the bubbly part two wait keeks if, if daniel if, if if danielson wins this week what you, you gonna drop a tweet <sighs> cow told me so yes i will do cow so all right y'all it's on record if danielson win i will tweet cow told you so okay even even uh, if he went, even if he loses the title to MJF, you still have the tweet. No, fuck. I'm a liar. Right. MJF, like, you know, I'm you, gonna say, Cal, I told you so. Yeah, no, I'll I'm take that. I would take that. I I, I would do the uh, the the rock clapping gif. I may again. I I I I got a feeling. I wouldn't be surprised, but uh, I I need Daniel. I need one. Danielson, AEW World Championship on the shoulder promo. You see the shit I built? These punk ass motherfuckers. They wouldn't be right. If I wasn't doing this shit, they wouldn't even fucking be here. I'm the GOAT, oh bitch. God. Why do I, why are you saying yes? It's because of me, ho. I feel like Adam Cole would come out of nowhere for some reason. Ad, is he is is he oh yeah i don't think he's clear yet I, I i've heard that he was injured i heard he was injured for a bit yeah he's uh, still injured yeah he better not <laughs> tell us to come around <laughs> hit that labelle lock <laughs> tune you I niggas forgot, you ain't no you ain't no adam cole baby attitude adjustment yeah nah fuck that baby shit <laughs> yeah you be up in traction ho what's your so, beef what's wrong with adam cole baby that adam I, to see the people thought I had an issue with Adam Cole, so I kind of just started trolling people, and then we added Drip, and Drip's a big undisputed era fan, so I can't, yeah. I can't, I, I mean, I don't like Adam Cole, but I yeah, can't. Kyle hurt like too. I he had surgery too. Who? Kyle. Yeah, I heard the whole team is, but that's why Bobby Fish tweeted. He ain't got nothing yeah. else to do. <laughs> Bobby Fish digging. He want to go back to the E. He's like, yeah, I want to go. I will do whatever trip the lights tell me what to do. Get me. Digging like that ever. Well, Bobby Fish was the third man on the team. Like they're after Kyle O'Reilly and Adam Cole. They they not looking for him. He, if he's not with them, they may not know. That's who why he I'm is. like, why is you doing all of that? They why is you acting like that, Bobby? Fish? You the same age as him. When 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 Punk threw that kick and and hurt himself, and Bobby Fish was like, "Look at this punk ass kick that he did on this show." Bro, you know, I, I you said, with me. I'm like, how you hurt yourself doing that? But uh, I don't tell you. Adam Dan, Chris, Dan, I ain't apologizing the shit. Nah. And they told him you gonna have to lose. All right. <laughs> <laughs> For real, he was like, "All right, shit," because I'm not apologizing to that man. That man ain't my daddy. He said, "Fuck that man. I'm gonna take this L. I'm gonna walk out said, my head." High. He said, "Just because I'm a teacher, I ain't no hoe. So <laughs> I don't have to apologize to him. He'll be all right." Facts. Big facts. Super facts. But that's enough of all you leak with keys. Play my getaway, Graham, so we can head up out of y'all. You've mentioned a couple names recently. Who were they? Listen, man. They call me the problem, but you could call me the can man because anybody can get it. Africans, Americans, Dominicans, Mexicans, anybody can get it. <laughs>